A stolen taxi cab nearly killed two people over the weekend in Goleta. One man is behind bars tonight. Deputies are now looking for at least one other person. It's a story that we first brought you last night on our KEYT Twitter account. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary spent the day following this story. And John, the real taxi driver, couldn't believe this all happened so fast. This was really shocking for him. He lives in a house nearby here in Santa Barbara, also off of Los Olivos Street. And when he noticed his keys and wallet missing, but went outside and saw his taxi, and then it was missing minutes later, this whole bizarre theft was unfolding as he was calling 911. I can't believe I was just upstairs. I can't believe I didn't hear it start up and drive away. Ron Goodman's keys, wallet, and the taxi he drives for work were all gone in seconds Sunday afternoon while he was in another room of his Santa Barbara home. Someone opened the screen door and soon there was a burglary and an auto theft. But the pipeline taxi was damaged minutes later and found in Goleta after a near collision with pedestrians who then confronted the driver saw at least one other person with him and called the company to complain about this reckless driving. The window of the vehicle was left down and the business card of the driver was inside the window. So they grabbed the, the card and called the driver and said, hey, one of your drivers almost hit us. And he said, that car's stolen. Our primary suspect, whom the witnesses saw driving, uh, they kept an eye on him until officers responded and contacted that person and, and arrested him. They followed him to the suspect's home and the whole family was there and uh, they searched the home. They arrested the suspect right outside. A mugshot of suspect Jose Benitez of Santa Barbara has not been released, but he faces grand theft auto charges. How the damage occurred to the van is still unclear. The victim's wallet is still missing. No credit card activity, so I think they probably thought that there'd be some cash in there. And when there wasn't, maybe they threw it away. Despite the impact from this theft, this driver says he feels sorry for the criminals involved and puts it all into perspective, saying... So many things happen in other areas of the world and this, this state that are so much worse, you know, so I'm still super lucky. And Santa Barbara Police and the owner of the taxi company, James Ball, credit those citizens who were involved in that near collision, that near miss involving that reckless uh, driver, the suspect at the wheel of a taxi, very similar to this pipeline cab. Uh, they credit those people for taking some action and going forward and not only confronting the driver, but getting that card and making the call and getting the sheriff's department and the police activated on this. As for the wallet, it's still missing. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. Okay, hopefully not.